Okay, so some of you were telling me that you had trouble with this graphing. Um, and I have come into my math lab and I couldn't figure out anything that was going on. So I, I just, I guess would say, I'm going to talk you through a problem and what I do and what I'm looking at, because I think I did about 10 of these and um, I got them right. And so I was wondering if it's just kind of because I'm used to working with technical software. So I would say one thing is when I go to graph this, I, I am clicking on this one. This is a parabola, an upside down parabola that's um, when I plug in zero, I get five. And so when I go here, I am looking, do you see up in this yellow box, I can't point to it because then it'll go away, but up in the yellow box above the graph, the point shows up at the far right. And so I do confirm that that's the point zero five, and I wanted to put that one in. And then I'll go, okay, I think at negative one, it's at four. And at positive one, it's at four. And again, each of those times I'm checking this box over here. You can also re-click on these points and it'll show up again to kind of recheck. But I haven't been able to um, like find another, I mean, those are three points. You need kind of these three points to define this parabola. And then I'm going to put save and check answer and I think it will come up with okay. Um, and let me do this other cubic. I mean honestly that's what I'm doing. Sometimes I will say sometimes the scale is different here I noticed. So here the vertical scale is different than the horizontal scale so be careful maybe with that but okay so this is 10 minus x cubed so at 0 it's 10 so I'm going to put a point there and I'm checking in the upper right to make sure that's the point that I think it is. Um, at negative 1, it should be at 11, which is right there, I think, negative 1 and 11. At positive 1, it should be 9. Oops, I have to go over 1. There, 1, 8, 1, 9. And then I need one more point. And so at 2, I'll get, I think, the point 2. I think it's 2, 2, I believe. So I have these four points that I believe are defining this cubic. Um, and I don't think it, and it kind of does this. I mean, it won't let me put another point on there because the, um, but I can click 1, 9, 2, 2 and negative 111 and I believe that's right so I'm going to push save and check and it's okay so I'm not sure if something else weird was going on and um, I'm also on a PC um, so I don't know if if the Mac is doing something weird but if your experience is radically different than this um, let's talk about it in class let me um, see what's going on and see if we can solve it. I will say also at the end of the semester I just add a couple points to your my math lab score because I know sometimes you just had a comma in the wrong place and don't want to retake the entire quiz again. Um, so mostly I want you to think of using this my math lab as a um, a tool to kind of help give you feedback about things that you legitimately don't understand. Um, and so kind of be careful about um, about what's happening there. Okay, but you know, um, but I hope this is helpful. Um, but that, that's what I found when I checked into it.